Hey guys, what's going on? Rudolanel here, coming back at you with even more Python tutorials with the Python image library in the image module. Okay, so I want to introduce you guys to get data. I know I mentioned this in the last video, but get data will return the entire contents of an image as a sequence object containing the pixel values and each band. So the sequence object is flattened and the values goes like line by line but you don't have a way of knowing like which line ends where unless you know the the width of the image so yeah the the values for line one follow directly after the values of line zero and so on now the thing is this returns a uh, specific pil or a python image library uh data type which can support like sequence operations like looping through it and that sort of thing but we can turn that into an ordinary list so Let's run get data, and let's actually convert that to be a list, and let's go ahead and print it out. Now, this is a massive function, right? Because you're looking through an entire freaking image. So just to be safe, I'm actually going to run this in my terminal. Um, running it in Sublime, Sublime Text Editor that I'm using may not have some good output. <laughs> so Python mess, and you can see all of this junk running quickly and very very ha and fast it's 280 lines I mean 280 width 280 height multiply those together and you have all of these pixels but you can see here's the white value that you saw earlier um, with the alpha value and like looking through all of this it's pretty massive and I mean I can't even scroll up to the point where you even see the um, the blue and yellow values but there's get data. That's what it does. Uh, it's a lot faster than um, get pixel because it's doing it all at once, not individually one by one. So I would recommend this. Um, we are going to be looking at the load function and opening up some pixel access objects. But for now, here's get data. We're going to be using it actually very soon to solve a problem that uh, I'll tell you about <laughs> when we get there. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was very simple, very easy. Um, get data is the function that you guys need to know, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next tutorial.